Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this beautiful problem. Square root of x plus 2 equals x. Now do you think this is solvable? Let's deal with it. Let's make square root of x the subject. So we have square root of x to be equal to x minus 2. Now remove the square root as we square both sides. Then put these two together and you square. This is going to go with this and x is alone and it's equal to x minus 2 in two places x minus 2. Now if this is the case then x will be equal to x times x is x squared x times minus 2 is minus 2x and then minus 2 times x is minus 2x then minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4 okay so we have x to be equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 now let's write this first we write x squared then minus 4x, this becomes negative x, then we have plus 4 to be equal to 0. We have x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. So here we have a quadratic equation and it's time for us to decide the method to use. Now you look at it very well and see if you can factorize. And if you cannot factorize, what do you do? Use the formula method. So we have a minus 5x and 4. So what two numbers do you multiply to get plus 4? And you put them together to get minus 5. The two numbers will be minus 4 and minus 1. Because minus 4 times minus 1 will give us plus 4. Then minus 4 plus minus 1 will give us minus 5, which is this. Now, this means that the factors will be x minus 4 and x minus 1 will equate to 0. So, x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. From here, our x is equal to 0 plus 4, and that is 4. Or, our x is equal to 0 minus 4, and that will be equal to 0 minus 1, and that is 1. So, do we think we can have two solutions that will satisfy the equation? Now, let's deal with it. We have the original equation, which is root x plus root x plus 2 equals x so let's put 4 over there if i put 4 as x then i have root x which is root 4 now right then plus 2 equal to our x is 4 now square root of 4 is 2 plus what 2 and that is giving us 4 on the right hand side this is to confirm that x equals 4 satisfies the equation now let's put one by the way you should already know that since x equals four satisfies x equals one cannot satisfy because both of them are positive now let's put it um to clear our doubt if we put x as one then we have square root of one plus two and then on the other side, x is 1, so I'll be writing 1. No way this will be equal to 1, because square root of 1 is 1 plus 2, and it should be equal to 3. And it's not 3 we had on the other side, right? So this means that this value of x, which is 1, is not satisfying the equation. Thank you for watching.